on these calm waters, an inevitable chapter of this tragedy. The bodies of five of those missing inside the yacht have finally been brought ashore. But still unaccounted for is Mike Lynch's teenage daughter, Hannah. The news has reached loved ones at home, including Ruth Lee, who's known the Lynch family for over 15 years. They were kind, generous, hospitable people. And obviously, just apart from the fact that he's one of the most remarkable technical people we've ever produced in Britain, and obviously, from a business point of view, he's, he's been very successful. I think from a personal point of view, losing somebody so kind and compassionate and full of integrity must always leave a hole that can't be filled. The children of Jonathan and Judy Bloomer have also paid tribute to them. Our parents, they say, were incredible people and an inspiration to many. But first and foremost, they were focused on and loved their family and spending time with their new grandchildren. Together for five decades, our only comfort is that they are still together now. Grief too for the family of Chris and Ada Morvillo, who say they live their lives as devoted, loving parents who always put their daughters and families first. Their passing is a tremendous loss for our family and for the countless people who knew and loved them both. Rescuers had struggled to get inside the cabins where it's thought the passengers had been sleeping when the yacht was consumed by a waterspout tornado, capsizing it within minutes. Behind us is the search site where all day divers in their orange wetsuits have been going in and out of the water in the searing heat. It is complex, meticulous and distressing work. This tragedy is the talk of this quiet fishing village. Fishermen who grew up working in these waters say the weather in the early hours of Monday was exceptional. If we were out, we would come back. It was a sudden thing. When tornadoes are forming, the winds are strong. Speaking exclusively to Sky News, the chief executive of the company that owns the firm that built the yacht has made a series of explosive accusations, alleging there were failings on board. Why did no one go out to sea? Everyone knew about the storm. And then, if a fisherman knew, why was the captain of such a ship of such importance, with guests of such level and importance, with 12 guests on board? Why wasn't he in an alert situation? British investigators say it is not appropriate for them to comment whilst their assessment of events is ongoing. Sky News has also contacted Italian investigators, the Coast Guard and the captain of the vessel for comment. But expert of maritime law, Professor Romana, says it's too early to rule anything out. These are all things that we obviously cannot hypothesise about at this moment, but can only be ascertained later. Here, investigators will try to understand what happened, because in the face of hypothetical unsinkability, in reality it happened. As the investigation continues into what happened in these waters, those in the village overlooking it say this will stay with them for a long time to come. Ashna Haranag, Sky News, in Porticello.